In 1970, a famous documentary called Gimme Shelter came out, showing a Rolling Stones tour and the chaos around it. It's directed by Albert and David Maisels and Charlotte Zwerin. The movie has funny, shocking, and sad parts that tell a lot about that time. It has real scenes and talks with people, giving a peek into the crazy 1960s. What makes this movie special? And is there a scene you remember most? Share your thoughts below. Gimme Shelter serves as a notable documentary capturing a pivotal moment in music history akin to the magnitude of Woodstock. The film documents the Rolling Stones' ambitious concert at Altamont Speedway near San Francisco, drawing a colossal crowd reminiscent of the iconic Woodstock gathering. Despite the allure of great music from the late 1960s and early 1970s, the event was marred by controversy. The decision to enlist the Hells Angels as security led to chaos and tragedy, including the fatal stabbing of a concertgoer. The documentary presents a vivid portrayal of the era's cultural climate, illustrating the rampant drug use and societal disillusionment that characterized the late 1960s. Through behind-the-scenes footage and candid moments, viewers gain insight into the tumultuous atmosphere preceding the ill-fated concert. Despite its flaws as a film, Gimme Shelter stands as a crucial historical artifact, offering a sobering reflection on the end of an era marked by excess and unrest. Gimme Shelter delves into the events surrounding a controversial concert held in Golden Gate Park. The film captures the chaos and tension as organizers struggle to maintain control amidst mounting concerns. One key reason for the permit's revocation was the impending NFL game at nearby Kezor Stadium, raising fears of clashes between football fans and potential campers in the park. Despite challenges, Gimme Shelter garnered praise, achieving a perfect rating on Rotten Tomatoes based on 24 critic reviews. Interestingly, Keith Richards is credited as Keith Richard in the opening credits, a subtle quirk noted by viewers. Gimme Shelter offers a raw glimpse into a turbulent moment in history, showcasing the intersection of music, culture, and societal tensions. It remains a significant documentary for its candid portrayal of an era marked by upheaval and change. Gimme Shelter is a documentary capturing the Rolling Stones' tumultuous 1970 tour. Despite controversy surrounding Sympathy for the Devil, the band performed it during the tour. Meredith Hunter's role in the tragic events at Altamont was revealed when he brandished a gun, leading to Alan Passaro's exoneration. Unreleased tracks Wild Horses and You Gotta Move, alongside Brown Sugar, were featured scenes at Muscle Shoals. These tracks later appeared on the iconic Sticky Fingers album in 1971. Gimme Shelter is a film about the Rolling Stones' crazy 1969-ish tour. It shows the band playing songs like Brown Sugar and Wild Horses. They mix studio and live footage for Love in Vain. Michael Lang, who helped with Woodstock, was also involved in Altamont. In the movie, he talks about building the stage and is seen on stage during the concert. The concert caused a lot of traffic jams, even from faraway places like Bakersfield. If today's rules were in place, the Rolling Stones might have had to pay for police work during the event. The film gives a real look at a wild time in music history. It shows what went on behind the scenes, interviews people like Michael Lang, and captures the Stones performing live. It shows how crazy the Altamont concert was and what happened because of it, not just in music, but everywhere else too. In summary, Gimme Shelter shows a crazy time for the Rolling Stones and the world in the late 1960s. Gimme Shelter, a documentary film, gained notoriety for its portrayal of a tragic event during a Rolling Stones concert. The incident, later immortalized in Don McLean's song American Pie, involved violence erupting during the concert, leading to the death of a concertgoer. The Rolling Stones, seeking security, enlisted the help of the Hells Angels, inspired by their previous experience with the London chapter of the club. However, the American branch proved more aggressive, leading to chaotic scenes during the concert. The climax came when Meredith Hunter, a concert attendee, brandished a gun. In response, a Hells Angel named Alan Passaro fatally stabbed him. Initially charged with murder, Passaro was later acquitted on grounds of self-defense as footage revealed Hunter's actions preceding the stabbing. The film serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked violence and the consequences of impulsive actions in large gatherings, leaving a lasting impact on both the music industry and popular culture. During their last appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show, the Rolling Stones gave an amazing performance that everyone loved. They played Love in Vain, Country Honk, and Gimme Shelter, which was really special. Gimme Shelter is a song that means a lot to fans and critics. It's so loved that it got chosen to be part of the Criterion Collection, which is a big deal. 
Albert Maisels, who is a famous filmmaker, shared something cool about the performance. He said that George Lucas, who made Star Wars, was one of the camera guys that day. What's interesting is that Lucas had a problem with his camera while filming. It stopped working after only recording a short bit. But by chance, he got one amazing shot before it broke a big view of the surprise crowd. This shot ended up in the final film and is a reminder of how special that night was. The Rolling Stones' performance on The Ed Sullivan Show and George Lucas's filming skill together made this event really memorable. It shows how powerful music and storytelling can be. It's a moment that still means a lot to people today. Gimme Shelter captures the tumultuous events surrounding a concert held at Altamont. The day before this event, the Rolling Stones dropped their renowned album Let It Bleed. Alongside the Rolling Stones, other bands like Jefferson Airplane and the Flying Burrito Brothers performed. Despite their scheduled appearances, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Santana, and Grateful Dead did not all take the stage due to various reasons. Tragically, besides Meredith Hunter, three others lost their lives during the festival. Two perished in a hit-and-run accident, while another young man suffocated after falling into a ditch. Gimme Shelter captures pivotal moments from the Rolling Stones tour in a raw documentary style. A rough version of Brown Sugar is heard, marking its debut before a live audience. Mick Jagger's original dialogue, including profanity, was later censored for TV broadcasts. Meredith Hunter's tragic death occurred during Under My Thumb, not sympathy for the devil is commonly believed. The film sequence was adjusted, with the song playing after the incident. These details offer insight into the film's historical significance and artistic choices. Gimme Shelter captures pivotal moments in the Rolling Stones history. The opening scenes feature a photo shoot involving a donkey, later gracing the cover of Get Your Ya Ya's Out. Concert footage from Madison Square Garden, also included, contributes to the album. The film depicts the overloaded helicopter journey from Altamont, narrowly avoiding collision during takeoff. Notably, Johnny Thunders, a legendary punk guitarist, appears in the crowd during the Stones' first performance, standing out with his long black hair. These scenes offer a glimpse into the band's iconic moments and the chaos surrounding them. Gimme Shelter delves into the chaos surrounding a concert headlined by the Rolling Stones. The film captures the tumultuous atmosphere of the event held in 1970. Despite their reputation for security, the Hells Angels present at the concert proved to be inexperienced. During Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young's set, one of the Angels stabbed Stephen Stills in the leg. Notably absent from the film are performances by B.B. King, who was another opening act alongside Ike and Tina Turner. Gimme Shelter offers a raw portrayal of the unforeseen violence and disarray that unfolded during the concert, highlighting the unpredictable nature of live events.